Call hello, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Shalom to the house of David, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and salutations to you brothers on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth and righteousness and sincerity. Okay, this is um, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 11. It says, Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Okay, because guess what? Uh, you know, we, we, we didn't just, you know, just, just get up one day and just like, hey man, Hey, 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 it would be fun to just, you know, go out there and start teaching, you know, in, 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 uh, in the cold and in the summer, man. Let's just gather a couple of our boys and just go do this. Not, nah. okay? We did this because we, we, do, we do this because we fear the Lord, all right? We're, 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 we're diligent in doing this work, man, because we fear the Lord, man, okay? This is um, 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 2, all right? It says, preach the word, be instant in season out of season reprove rebuke exhort with all long suffering and doctrine okay so we do this right there we do that because we fear the lord man and we we, we persuade men because we fear the lord all right we persuade we persuade men through the fear of the lord okay because i'm pretty sure man a vast majority of of, of, of brothers and sisters man who, who heard this truth and repented you know it was by it was by hearing something scary you know saying the saying the the, the the terror of the lord man Okay, whether it be it be like missiles, hearing about the missiles, or hearing about martial law or stuff like that, because hey man, we teach it, man. It's somebody walking by, you know, and they hear, they hear, yo, America's about to be destroyed or something like that, man. They got some sort of sense in them. They gonna stop, be like, wait, whoa, what? What, 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 are, you, what are you talking about? Let me, let me let me check that out, man. Cause whoa, what's what's going on here, you know? Or you know, they might know about martial law. But then we, when they hear you talking about it, like, oh, okay, like, well, what's this guy talking about? You know, what, what are they talking about? Let me try and inquire. Then you start letting them know the death and destruction that's coming, that the Lord is bringing it, you know? And if they are the Lord's sheep, man, they, they hear that, man. They got scared, they got shook, they repent, okay? Because through the fear of the Lord, man, we persuade men because the Lord ain't somebody to be messed with, all right? All right? Because like, you, you hear, like, for example, yo, you're not supposed to eat in pork. You know, the Lord's going to destroy you for eating pork. You, oh, you're like, damn, wait, what? Hold up. Oh, shit. You know? Or you hear a scripture like this one. I'm about to get that in a minute. Okay, you hear a scripture like this, man. Yo, it's, 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 hey, man, this going to get you right, man. This going to get you right. In, in, <laughs> hey, man, this is um, Isaiah chapter 66, verse 17. It says, they that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens behind, behind one tree in the mist, eating swine's flesh and the abomination and the mouse okay the mouse that chinese food that, that you know a lot of jays be eating man that's not that's not chicken all right that's rat mouse whatever man but it's an abomination okay and the more bites man they it's normal over there the more bites me and the, the, the so-called chinese people okay they 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 it's normal there in china whatever they eat that okay over here man they, they call it chicken because they know if they say rat ain't nobody gonna come in there okay so you gotta watch out man that's says what shall be consumed together save the lord Okay, so you bring the scripture out, man. It's like, yo, what? I'm, I'm going, whoa, 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 whoa. First off, you're not supposed to eat pork. The Lord's going to kill you for eating pork. Oh, shit, what? Yo, damn, I got to get right, man. This, that, you see? But that's the fear of the Lord, man. That's the terror of the Lord, man. Because, hey, the Lord the Lord is not somebody to be messed with. All right? You do not want to mess with the Lord, man. You do not want to get on the wrong side of the Lord, man. Because the Lord will kill you. Okay? The Heavenly Father will kill you and your family members. And there's nothing anybody can do about it. Okay, that's scary, man. All right, the, the heavenly Father, it, hey man, if you ain't on, if you ain't right with the, with Yahweh, you know the heavenly Father, while Yahweh Shai's son is over. Okay, there's not yo. It's Hebrews chapter ten verse thirty one. Okay, it says, it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Okay, it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man, because he he can yo the heavenly father can make your life a living hell, man. He can kill you, can do whatever he wants, man, and nothing you can do about it, right? Okay, and that is the fear of the Lord, which we persuade men by. Okay, and there's an account, man, in the book of Joshua of, of, of what the Lord did to you know did to this 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 Israelite man, okay? Because he didn't he didn't you know he didn't take heed, man. He didn't he didn't he didn't follow the the the, the you know the, the order that was given all right um the book of joshua chapter 7 verse um verse 19 okay it says and joshua said unto achan my son okay okay because achan he was an israelite but um you know when they when they took over one of the, the, the cities you know they were supposed to destroy the stuff there he went and you know took a, a you know one of the garments with babylonians i got 
you know, I, I think it was something around those lines, but he took it when he was not supposed to. Okay, and it was a, it was an abomin abominable thing to the Lord, and and he he had brought it into the camp, you know, where where they were at, and so the Lord was furious, all right. And so get, this is what happened. This is what the Lord had happened. Okay, it says in verse nineteen, and Joshua said unto Achan, my son, give I pray thee glory to the Lord, power of Israel, and make confession unto him, and tell me now what thou hast done. Hide it not from me. Okay. Verse 20 And Achan answered Joshua and said, Indeed, I have sinned against the Lord God of Israel, and thus and thus and thus have I done. When I saw among the spoils a goodly Babylonish, Babylon, Babylonish garment and 200 shekels of silver and a wedge of gold of 50 shekels weight, when I coveted them, okay, because you're not supposed to be coveting, because this is what it leads to. It says, And took them. And behold, they are hid in the earth in the midst of my tent, and the silver under it. Okay, so this is what he did, man. This is what this is what Achan did. All right, and this is this is the judgment that the Lord had for him, man. No mercy. It says so. Joshua sent messengers, and they ran in, onto the tent, and behold, it was hid in the tent, and the and the silver under it. And they took them out of the midst of the tent and brought them onto Joshua and onto the children of Israel and laid them out before the Lord. Okay. Now here's where here's where it gets into it, man. Verse 24 it says, and Joshua and the and and all Israel with him took Achan the son of Zerah and the silver and the garment and the wedge of gold and his sons and his daughters and his oxen and his asses and his sheep and his tent and all that he had and they brought them into the valley of Ahor. And Joshua said, Why hast thou troubled us? The Lord shall trouble thee in this day. And all Israel stoned him with stones and burned them with fire after they had stoned them with stones. Okay, so that's what happened, man. The Lord had him killed, man. Him, his family members, his 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 his, his tent, his money, everything he had, the Lord had stoned. Okay, the Lord had him stoned and destroy all that, man. Okay, no mercy. Okay, because he didn't want to, he didn't want to, you know, follow, he didn't want to follow the, 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 the directions that was given, man. Okay, but that's the fear of the Lord, man. The Lord will do that. Okay, the Lord, the, listen, the Lord is not a respecter of persons. Okay, so he don't care what you look like, who you are. No, 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 he doesn't care. Okay, he does what he wants, man. If you, if you, if you wrong the Lord, man, it's over. Okay, and that's why we, 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 we fear the Lord, man. We fear how about Shem Yahweh Shai, man. That's why we, we follow the orders that were given, man. We follow the directions, man. We follow these scriptures. Okay, and through that we persuade, we persuade others, man. The scripture says, uh, uh, my sheep heareth my voice. Okay, but hey, man, you gotta let them know, man, because, you know, hey, I, I woke up two brothers that, uh, that were in my school, man, and, you know, the way they woke up to it, the way they, they heard it was, was through judgment, you know, because I was letting them know, yo, man, all hell's about to break loose. The judgment is coming, man. A lot of death, destruction is coming to this place, man. And that's what that's what got them scared, man. They were like, oh, shoot, let me hear what this is about, you know, and then they repented from that, okay, because it's through the fear of the Lord that we persuade men, all right, because, hey, man, the Lord is the Lord is not somebody to be messed with, all right, somebody to be joking with you. You don't play around with the Lord, man. All right, the Lord takes His word very serious, man, and so do you. You have to take you have to take the Lord's word very serious, man, because the Lord will really deal with you. All right, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. They'll save the scriptures, okay. But you know, I'm gonna end it there, man. I hope that was edifying unto the elect, okay. The house of David, you know, and uh, you know, call all y'all, Shalom.